Welcome, everyone. To these are a few of my favorite things. Today, we get to work on this beautiful Black Angus hide. This uh, steer was just slaughtered this morning. So this is a really ideal time to get started. Uh, I really recommend, if at all possible, that you flush your hides within 24 hours. That's a really ideal time frame because it allows you to get all of that meat and fat off before any rot starts to set into the hide. So that really is our goal. I really haven't found many YouTubes online that just talk about working cow hides in particular. They're huge. <laughs> And maybe that's why. Maybe not a lot of people like to do them because of that. So I just want to show you some of the things that I have done that I think work and help you to get through all this hide in a reasonable amount of time. So first of all, I want to show you my tools. Um, this is just my basic draw knife. And it's a, I think it's an 8-incher I got on Amazon for around 20 bucks. And I like this because uh, it's just, I don't have to worry about cutting the hide. Anytime you bring in a knife, you just have risk of cutting the hide. And the less you can cut it, the better. Um, you can see here, like, this hide's got some holes in it. Um, that's all right. Uh, if we want to, before we string it up in the frame, we will go ahead and stitch those up. But you can see here, this really shows you kind of the stuff you want to focus on, like these big hunks of meat, all this meat down here, um, especially kind of along the flanks. We really get a lot of meat and fat. And so that's what we're going to focus on. We're not going to worry so much about like the membrane that you see along here. Um, that's going to come off later when we work on the hide when it's dry. Um, right now, our main goal is we want to get all this meat and fat off so we can get it salted before uh, any rot starts to set in because that's kind of your biggest enemy um, in terms of having a nice hide when you're finished. So I'm going to show you some of my techniques on how I like to use some of these tools. Oh, I didn't show you the rest of them. So this is just your basic head knife. Um, I got this on Etsy for I think like five bucks, which is kind of a steal. It's just a rounded blade. It's really small. It fits in your hand. It's nice for just, you know, if you've got an edge that you want a rounded blade for. And then this is just kind of a rounded skinny knife. Um, and it's just nice. I like a fat belly for kind of getting in there. Um, this is just another one that I like for flushing. You don't have to have super special tools like my first hide I ever flushed. I just used a uh, basic steak knife, like a smooth, non-serrated. So um, experiment, find the tools that work for you. Uh, these are the tools that I like. This is Maka. He gets really excited about doing hides, so he's pretty pumped that we've got a hide today. All right, so let's jump into this hide, and I'll kind of show you what I do. So the first thing I like to do is I like to fold the hide over so that I'm not getting covered in too much glue. So I just kind of do this. Another reason I like to fold it over and you'll want to fold your edges like this is as much as possible you want to keep your hide moist. That flesh comes off way easier if it's still moist. So just kind of fold everything in. Um, you can re-wet it. So sometimes, like see this has been in the sun, it's already getting a bit crispy. So by the time I get to flushing it, if it's too dry, then I'll put the hose on it for a little bit. We'll give this a little wash before we salt it. So um, you don't have to worry about getting it wet because it'll get wetter before the day is done. Okay, so then all I've got here is I just have a log. Um, you can have a half log so it doesn't roll away. This is what I have. This is what I'm going to use. And uh, you just pick a starting point. Um, Necessarily worry too much about where I'm starting because uh, it all needs to get done. And then you just take your draw knife and you just start working that meat off. And when I get kind of a spot where it's like not coming off so easy, you can kind of see here there's all these layers. There's just like layer after layer after layer on a cowhide, but what we're focusing on is this layer, and you can kind of see, this is kind of where that connection between the meat and the hide, and so that's really where you want to focus. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab one of my little tools here, and I'm just going to kind of cut at some of this, cut some of that away, 
Um, and then once I kind of get through, this guy's real fresh, so it's real slippery. And then you'll just come back at it with your draw knife. sharper knife here and you'll have to reposition often yeah so this knife is nice and sharp now if you're working with a sharp knife you got to be careful but you're really just cutting when you pull that pull that meat away you can really see clearly just like where that meat connects to the hide and then you just work nice and slow so that you're not cutting into your hide. So that's kind of the technique. And uh, I'll get a little bit more done on this hide. And then I'll come back and show you our progress in a little bit. So stay tuned.